Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. Another big brown ubiquity box. This one's a little bit of a mouthful. It's a new switch. This is the Enterprise 24 port PoE. So it is the USW-Enterprise-24-POE. What is exciting about this switch? This switch has 12 2.5 gigabit a second uh, Ethernet ports and 12 um, standard 1 gig Ethernet ports as well as two 10 gig um, SFP ports. So this is ready for Wi-Fi 6. I know that a whole bunch of the Wi-Fi 6 access points by Ubiquiti have been released with 1 gig ports in them. I believe the chipset that is actually being put in them will support a faster speed. And I think as we start to see these um, use it, these switches in mainstream, then potentially through a firmware update, we're gonna see um, some speed increase on the access points. Now, not meant to be a big technical overview. I'm just gonna show you what you get in the box, talk a little bit more about it. So you get the uh, unit itself, talk to you and show you that a little bit more in a moment. It is a rack mount unit. It doesn't come with the ears already fitted. Um, so you are going to get a pair of rack ears. Um, obviously to make that more useful, you are also going to get a whole bunch of rack nuts, the bolts, and all the screws there to fit those rack ears in place. You're gonna get a conformity guide. Uh, probably not gonna do much with that other than throw it away. Do remember, you need to either have downloaded the software onto your computer, use the mobile app as the other alternative to configure it, or have something like the Cloud Key or the UDM or the UDM Pro to manage this. You are then gonna get a power cable. Now we've started to see on a whole bunch of these new USW switches, um, a locking mechanism brought in place for the IEC connector. So we've got IEC at this end. Um, if the camera will focus just here, we have a little locking hole. Um, these have been imported, so at the moment these have a European um, plug on them. There is no Australian version of this, so we provide a standard Australian power um, cable in the box. We leave this in the box there. There are also things obviously that you could do with this if you still want to use the locking mechanism. We'll leave that up to you to figure out what you need to do. I'll show you that in a moment as well. So this is really exciting. It is a 400 watt switch. Just gonna hold that up, just hopefully so you can get one good um, shot of what's actually happening uh, there. We have the LCD screen over this side there, which obviously we use for our basic management or seeing what's going on. We have our first four, so first four, first 12 ports here. These are one gig ports. They support PoE Plus. Um, and I believe PoE++ as well. So our first 12 are just one gig. The next 12 on here are our 2.5 gigabit a second ethernet ports. Again, both carry PoE as well. So these are designed for our wireless six access points to be plugged in. Um, and then our two ports here at the end are our 10 gig SFP ports. So we can again put a multiple array of different SFP adapters in there to connect those via fiber to our infrastructure or to other switches. You will also see here um, some uh, fan intake or air intake just across the top. Um, older of these switches, the Gen Runs used to uh, side vent. And we actually now see uh, venting at the back here. So we can run this in a rack and be able to see the airflow um, go across it. So let me just hold that up again. So obviously on this side, let me just take this out. Uh, let me just take the cover off, show you me taking the cover off there. So let me just hold this up. This is, uh, Whoa, this is where you can actually see the uh, locking mechanism there. So if I was to um, take our IEC connector, see if I can do this um, with just uh, these two hands, um, and to plug this into place, once it's in place here, I can uh, flick my locking switch in, all right, and now that cable does not come out. So quite a good uh, mechanism to be able to use. You will also then notice over on this second side here, um, we have our RPS, the redundant power supply system that Ubiquiti use. It's not a UPS, it's not an interruptible power supply. The idea is that this is connected to another power source, um, and if the first one was to fail, it would switch over to this. So this is the USW Enterprise 24-POE. It's a 12 port, one gig, with 12 port of 2.5 gigabits a second with two SFP uplinks. 
um, that are 10 gig each. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. Plenty more box openings on wireless networking and firewall devices. Uh, plenty of more how-to guides. What do I need to set up my Unify network? All of those types of things. So do subscribe and stay up to date. But hopefully that's being useful. Um, that's the new Ubiquiti um, Enterprise 24 port PoE switch.